you're um you're in a corporate environment, right? And you you suspect that the people you're working for, the authority figures, are your boss, your immediate boss, your team leader. There's a pathological narcissism. We've already established there's a per perfectly possible chance that he or she is. What steps do you take? Are you talking about removing yourself from that situation, from that environment? Or how would you deal with that narcissist? How would you deal with that person? The Because narcissists impose a shared fantasy in all types of relationships, mm -hmm. not only intimate, not mm -hmm. only intimate, but in friendships, in the workplace, in church, mm -hmm. in the army, you name it. Mm -hmm. Whenever the narcissist comes across someone who can serve as a source of supply or someone who can serve as a an intimate partner of some kind, mm. the narcissist imposes a shared fantasy. And in the shared fantasy, he is God and you are the worshiper. Mm. In the shared fantasy, he's in control and you are coerced in the shared fantasy. So the principles are identical in all the... So the advice is the same. Mm. No contact. No contact is a set of 27 strategies that I yeah. designed in, in 1995. Yeah. And it's still the best advice there is. The second best advice, if you cannot go no contact, you have children yeah. with a narcissist, you can't lose your job for some reason, you can't move away from... So if the second best advice, which is not something I came up with, I regret okay. to say, but it's a great advice, is grey rock. To grey rock means to render yourself uninteresting to the narcissist. Mm. A bad source of narcissistic supply because you're stupid. Mm. or you are incapable of curiosity mm. you're or not you're a wordy not, adversary not a worthy object to be owned mm. narcissists don't have adversaries they're God mm. what do you mean what adversaries mm. they don't have adversaries they're God mm. some contemptible inferior people may consider themselves to be the narcissist adversary adversary or enemy mm. but that's because they're deluded mm. hey they realize the omnipotence, omniscience, and perfection of the narcissist, they would have never considered themselves were, uh, his enemies, because to be an enemy, you need to be equal somehow. Mm -hmm. So not, no, not as an enemy, but as a, um, as a object to be on. So if you are a rock... So you, you have, have to great... minimize your... The problem here, Sam, is if, if you're in a corporate uh, environment, and I have worked in a few... Um, don't attract attention to yourself. Yeah, basically. Minimize yourself. Mm. Hide yourself. I mean, Robert Greene talks about this in the 48 Laws of Power as well, about never um, upsta upstaging the, 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 the master. Um, that's essentially the, is, is what you're talking about. If you're there. Compelled, you minimize yourself. If you're compelled you... to stay. Yeah. If you're forced to stay. No. Yeah. No, the, my first advice is to disconnect. Resign. Disconnect, yeah. Resign, literally. Yeah. Because it can end really badly. It what, can end what, really badly yeah. and can affect your future career. Mm. Narcissists, if they are mortified, narcissists can be narcissistically injured. Mm. It's when you challenge, undermine their grandiosity in some way, mm. their self-perception or self-image. Mm. You cause them uh, discomfort by doing this. But they can also be mortified. Mm. Mortification, narcissistic mortification, is if you shame the narcissist, inadvertently even, mm. in public. Oh, the yeah. narcissist is giving a presentation. Mm. And you raise your hand and say, I'm sorry, but this slide is wrong. Mm. You've shamed him in public. That's mortification. Mm. You have become his mortal his mortal enemy. Well, he doesn't have enemies, but you, you become something to be quashed and crushed mm. and destroyed forever and ever. Amen. Confined to the outer oblivion mm. of deep space. He's going to pursue you. He's going to pursue you for years. He's going to pursue you in all future careers. He's got, narcissists are exceedingly vindictive. Mm -hmm. when they're exposed to mortification. Mm -hmm. And this is known as the external solution of mortification. It was first described by Libby, not by me, by Libby. Mm -hmm. So when a narcissist is shamed or humiliated in public, in front of an audience that matters to him, yeah, he's going to ruin your life period. It's mm -hmm. going to be, he's going to focus on this. This is going to be his yeah. laser focus. Mm -hmm. So it could end extremely badly. And uh, the, the danger is in any environment, whether it's an academic environment or in a work environment, if you want to engage and you want to ask questions and you, you're curious, you're all, you, you could put your foot on a grenade, metaphorically, yes. with a narcissist very easily. Yes, and unfortunately, the incidence and prevalence of narcissism 
pathological mm. losses is increasing. Mm. Yeah. There's a study, studies by Twenge and Campbell, the newer generations, people mm. under the age of 25, under the age of 30 by now. They're much more narcissistic. They're five times more narcissistic. Do you think social media is fueling narcissism? Do you think? No, I think it's the opposite. Social media caters to narcissism. Okay. I think social media is a reaction to narcissistic needs. Yeah. But I think uh, the restructuring of society um, enhances or rewards narcissism. Mm. For example, people are now self-sufficient. Mm. Technology rendered them self-sufficient. Technology is also some kind of womb, a matrix, if you wish. Mm. Because technology is, is all-encompassing, all-engulfing, all-pervasive, the internet of everything. Mm. And technology provides instant solutions. And in this sense, technology is omnipotent, is omniscient, mm. like God, is, is God-like. Mm. So if you own technology, if you control technology, remember core idealization. If you own technology, then you are as good as technology. And if technology mm. is God-like, then you're God-like. That's why everyone in this dog nowadays is an expert about everything. Mm. People argue with medical doctors and with professors and with why? Because they have access to Wikipedia. Mm. Mm. So well, they say a little knowledge is a dangerous expert. thing, right? Sorry? A little knowledge is a dangerous thing. There's the, the, the classic phrase in, in, in English language. A little knowledge yes, is a dangerous right. thing because it, it gives the, 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 the purveyor of that knowledge um, a feeling of power. Yes, I think I think there is a phenomenon that I call malignant egalitarianism. Mm. Malignant egalitarianism. We are all equal. We are all equal by virtue to to having possessing access to the same resources. Mm. So you can surf the Wikipedia. I can surf Wikipedia. We're equal. Mm. And so people would not hesitate to argue with me about diagnosis that I invented. Mm. And they would tell me that I don't understand the diagnosis. Mm. And I better watch this and this. Mm, he knows better yeah. or she knows better. And that's the diagnosis that I invented. Mm. And so technology em empowers people in the wrong sense and renders them more narcissistic. That's for sure. But I think technology was a reaction to the rising tide of narcissism. Mm. And we're going to see more and more and more and more narcissistic technologies because narcissism is a vicious, vicious uh, cycle, vicious circle. Mm. It is it is self-generating, self-assembling, and self-empowering. In short, the more narcissists there are, the more they structure society so as to reward narcissism. And the more narcissism is rewarding, the more narcissists there are. It's a it's a it's a feedback loop. Loop, yeah. Self-reinforcing feedback. Do you know in, in July 2016, new scientists? Yeah. which is a science magazine in the yeah. United Kingdom, as you know. New scientists came up with a cover story yeah. in July 2016. And the cover story said, uh, parents, teach your children to be narcissists. Mm. Yeah. Hello, everyone. Uh, that's a short clip from an episode with Professor Sam Vaknin, where we talk about everything to do with narcissism. If you want to watch the full episode, it should be right about here. And the subscribe button should be right about somewhere down here. A big shout out and a big thanks to everybody that has subscribed so far. I really appreciate each and every one of you. Have a great Christmas. Happy New Year. And I'll see you all in January. Thank you so much.